Xin chào. Ohayo gozaimasu. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for coming to our most important annual event, FPT Tech Days 2024. Today I have three points of co-creating future. First point, what future expect us will become such uncertainties, unpredictable. I think no one can predict what happened tomorrow, but we know. We know trade war, we know geopolitics, crisis, we know even Geotechs going on. War seem dividing. Go war. Come back. And how we navigate in this kind of uncertainties. In this context, Vietnam, as our Prime Minister Pham Minh Chính say, is a safe destination in geopolitics storms. Second things, war became to agentics. Every country, every company, and everyone is in front of three critical transformations. I do mean digital one, green one, and lastly, intelligent transformations. When the data, as Jensen Wang say, go to the money. And Vietnam, how positioning itself in this transformations. Vietnam would like to be the world technology, talent, resources. Particularly in Vietnam, in FPT, we bring STEM education to K-12. We bring AI education from first grade to university. We open automobile faculties, we open semiconductor faculties, and we at FPT, we learning daily. From me to the cleaners in FPT, everyone have to spend some hours for education and training or teaching. 25 years ago, FPT first went global. And since then, Vietnam got one million ICT engineers, half million of software developers. Now we're thinking about another millions in semiconductors and few millions in AI. And second point is how we share, how we co-create the future. We, as a business community, we're facing with harder and harder restriction from government from size. We have to align with that. And how we align with that? We work with our partners, solutions to address geopolitical risk management. We want to achieve business continuity plan 
at the same time, we maintain employments of partners, staff. That is a very big challenge we all face with. Another point, we still work in the legacy system, Kobo, on premise. And we would like to use AI as enabler for legacy modernizations. We work with the large Japanese broadcasting corporations in huge programs. And using AI, we can save six months and 30% of the cost in definition phase. In implementing phase, we reduce the rare resource on mainframe to just one or two engineers. In the maintenance phase, we plan to make the so such easier. No need for all staff learn new languages, new, learn new technology, but still provide comprehensive managed service. Another thing is strategic focus. At FPT, we focus in five key keywords. You just went to the demonstration room, and we say in Vietnamese, I ban say so sang, or in English, green adas, green transitions, AI, Automobile and semiconductors. You see already the AI presentation there. And in pan pandemic time, one largest US based corporation related to automobile named Cox Automotive, they would like to reduce from 200 software suppliers to three, and we win champion. The reason behind is we bring AI and latest technology to do the very all things, migrations and maintenance. We save a lot of costs. And after two years now, Few days ago, we win the largest deal of FPT, 225 plus million US dollars. You know already, we invest heavily in the AI factory with NVIDIA. And we're not limited to that. We provide AI infrastructures with the AI studios, which help our customers easier to collect data, easier process data, easier train model of file turning, and then inferencing and continue learning. We also provide the uh, AI Inferences. We work out in FPT hundreds of cases how AI can improve productivity. And we work with customers around the world to find the new agents and we ready proof agents should be served different corporations on how to improve productivity. In FPT, we do AI strategic discussion every quarter. 
we ask every people, every division have to have AI initiative. We creating the labs in every division and work this continuously. I, I have to say, intelligent transformations is our top interest and we're pushing as much as possible. Speed is everything. You know that in this time, fast fish eat big fish. And the third point, we about human resources. We are about now and future ready workforce. We do everything to scale, to scale projects as fast as possible. Our education system expand very fast. In last five years, they doubling every year. And we bring most innovative, most latest technology to education as early as possible. And in, in closing, I'd like to thank you, all of you, came far or near to this conference room and just to say one wish. We want to be with you to co-create such challenging, such exciting future. Aligato gozaimasu. Thank you very much.